Conventional wisdom says the NWC title will be decided week 10 when Spencerville hosts Jefferson. But what about Columbus Grove? Coming off an appearance in the state semifinals, Andy Schaefer's team hasn't missed a beat. Off to a 4-0 start, three of those wins coming over teams that made the postseason a year ago. Grove is ranked second in the state and are first in their region. Head to Ada tonight, Bulldogs, home Bulldogs without Seth Conley. Quarterback out six to eight weeks with a broken arm. Grove fans asking the existential question, why did the chicken cross the county road? To see Grove take on Ada Bulldogs. Ada gets the ball first. Trent Jolliffe starting at quarterback. Quick pass to Blake Ansley. Isaac Seifer trips him over. Otherwise, would have been a big gain instead of just a first down. Later in that drive, third and eight. Jolliffe to Ansley. They would connect several times in this game. Another first down for the home dogs. Fourth and nine at the Grove 35. Ada's going for it. Jolliffe scrambling. Breaks one tackle. Brought down just short of the first down. Grove takes over on downs. After the two teams trade punts, Grove ball late in the first quarter, their own 16. Reed Steckschulte to Aiden Fortman, a first down for the Road Dogs. Third and long on the delay draw, Eric Warnicke. The first down carry out near midfield. Now at the 38 yard line, Steckschulte going deep. Fortman comes down with it. Cole East takes it away, initially ruled an interception, then overturned. It's Grove ball deep in Ada territory. At the 13-yard line, at third and 12, Steck Schulte going over the middle, and this time, no doubt about it, Chase Summer, the interception, one of eight turnovers for Columbus Grove, and check out the Ada Bulldogs. They get the big win at home, 19-7 over Columbus Grove. Jolliffe, three touchdown passes. Blake Ansley, two touchdown catches.